talking today to Cobus Rue, who is the Manager of Strategic Initiatives and Contract R&D at CSIR, Maraca Institute. Cobus, tell me about the, you have an initiative to connect schools sorry, in South Africa. How many schools are there in South Africa and how many are currently connected? Yeah. So in South Africa we have uh, about um, 26,500 schools, mostly public schools. And um, I would guess less than 6,000 of them are connected and maybe less than 3,000 have broadband connections. And those, those schools are mostly in the urban areas. So an interesting area that, that CSR has been working on in terms of its research is how to get affordable connectivity into the rural areas. And, and we're particularly looking at uh, uh, wireless mesh technologies. Uh, we've got a large-scale demonstrator with wireless mesh running where we have connected 200 schools with um, local enterprises called village operators. Those are like startup, micro, internet service providers. And, and, and on the one side, we we're researching and developing the, the mesh technology, mm. but at the same time we're experimenting with new business models of how can you actually sustain the connectivity between schools using local enterprises. Um, so the, so the, the, the working hypothesis is that the micro-operator in, um, in the small town or village will become the delivery agent for the school's connectivity and everybody else's connectivity, presumably. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 is, that, that, that is the idea, um, especially in areas where there is no infrastructure and it, at, at first sight it would not make sense for commercial operators to go there because um, you have the chicken egg. Of, mm. It's not economically viable, so we don't want to go there until there's enough demand, but you don't get enough demand until you've actually made the infrastructure investment. And I think this is where the partnership between government and society in those areas and industry has to come together where um, for government and for industry it's all about job creation so we're mm. looking at it from how do you do this local job creation government is the anchor tenant they want the schools to be connected mm. um, so they step in first they step in first and but they step in such a way that that it actually stimulates the local economic development uh, but we, we we do need the industry to also participate and, and, and especially in the backbone provision how do you get the, the broadband links to go come to the point of village but then dealing with the local dynamics a local entrepreneur would know the schools would know the the people the the rest of the community so it's best place to to service that community than somebody that's sitting somewhere central and say I'm just a telephone call away but I actually don't understand how the local dynamics work or indeed what the place is like yeah yeah and this is this is the working theory. Is is there practice that demonstrates how it? Yeah. So so we've been working on this project for about three years, um, and out of the first recruitment of twenty village operators, there's still seventeen village operators going. Um, the the schools are very happy that that's been connected, and, and, and the uptake is is, is pretty good. Um, I think there's still many challenges. What we've been focusing on for the last while is how to, 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 to build the, or how to make the support systems more efficient. Because, um, like researchers, we mm. we don't know about operations. We don't know about uh, the, 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 the 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 real running of businesses. So, so we're learning as we go. Um, and and I think we we figured out the technology that's working well. We figured out the local dynamic stuff, but it's now. How do you bring this together as an organization and, and that's that that's basically where we're at and look, starting to look at at ways of exiting but letting the the baby go and, and start growing up as a, as a as a child and how big are those um, micro operators in terms of turnover so a typical operator would um, service between 10 and 20 schools and per school we're looking at an order of a thousand five hundred rand per month um, to, between five and fifteen thousand a month. And in terms of jobs, how many jobs are created by those micro operators between two numbers? So, so the the, the micro operators are employed themselves, mm -hmm. um, which is at least one permanent job. They they contract with um, other people, and what we've seen is they've also had a catalytic effect where, as soon as you bring the connectivity in the community and somebody that's becoming an expert in that, there's a lot of other things that starts to run. So. 
the village operators have started things like um, job markets where they collect information about vacancies elsewhere and mm. um, availability of, of, of CVs in the, in the community. Um, some of them have started internet cafes and then that, that creates new jobs because they, they have to focus on servicing the, 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 the schools and the connectivity mm. site and then they, somebody else needs to man the internet cafe. So um, it's difficult to say at this stage exactly how this many mm. jobs, but the minimum of at least 20 jobs have been created. What we've also seen and, and done is that um, we need to mentor that looks after a group of village operators. So mm. that, they, they, that's part of the support structures. How do you make sure that these village operators are not on their own, left um, to yeah. their own... left to fail. Yeah, so, so the mentoring, the business mentoring, soft skills, um, but also the technical support is important. Lastly, <coughs> tell me how well does the um, Wi-Fi mesh technology work? So, firstly, mesh mm. doesn't have to be Wi-Fi. Mm. Mesh can run over any air interface. Mm. It's, it's more the routing protocol side of how sure. do you do the peer-to-peer -peer interfacing. In the rural areas, Wi-Fi mesh works very well because there's no other Wi-Fi users and there's no interference. Um, I have less insight into how well it will work in, in urban areas. We're running a big community network in, in Pretoria. Uh, there, the Wi-Fi mesh network works great for us. Um, mm. But uh, and I'm, I'm also aware of huge networks in um, some of the bigger cities in Europe, America, also running with mesh. Um, but I, I think where it's failed in business models is where the, the thinking is to for cities to start delivering Wi-Fi clouds as a, as a public service and the business models don't, don't quite gel there. Uh, but the technology works. Thanks for talking to me today. Excellent.